Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, I just wanted to make a really quick video about why I am not going to be voting for Paul Lundeen for Colorado State um, House of Representatives for the 19th District. Um, as you may or may not know, he represents currently Black Forest, Calhan, Ellicott, Glen Eagle, Monument, Peyton, Rama and Woodmore. I think that's how you pronounce it. Rama, Rama, and Woodmore. Um, <clears throat> I only had really one uh, experience with Mr. Lundeen, but um, it really wasn't all that good. So um, I have a email here that I sent him that I wanted to show you guys. I live in the Village Center um, Metro District here in Monument, and. Uh, Anybody who lives in that district will know that there was a big, there was a big deal with them raising their fees recently, um, and uh, nobody really seemed to be doing anything about it except complaining. And I said, "Hey, why don't I get my state representative involved and see what he thinks about it?" So um, I wrote Mr. Lundeen this really quick email about uh, the Village Center Metro District, how they're raising our fees six hundred fourteen percent, and. I was really surprised, actually, that um, within, let's see, I wrote him on January 2nd at 3.02, and he responded almost immediately. He responded at 3.47 that same day and said, uh, thanks for reaching out. Let me look into this. I certainly see why you are concerned. I said, great. This is awesome. Somebody's getting involved. Perfect. And then I, I didn't hear back from him, so I figured, you know, he gets busy like like anybody. So on January 10th, which is just over a week later, I sent him out a reminder. Uh, I said, hello, Paul. I'm just following up with you on this. Thanks. Didn't hear anything back from him. Uh, so I waited a while, and I, I kind of forgot about it a little bit, but um, I did have it in the back of my mind. And then on February 1st, which is, what, three weeks later, roughly, um, I wrote him another email. Hey, Paul, did you find anything out? Now, today is March 18th, and Mr. Lundeen has yet to get back to me. So I don't understand what this guy's shtick is. You know, I don't understand if this is what he always does, if he responds immediately to people when they have concerns, just to make them think he's getting involved in, in, their, in their concerns, and then he just hopes the problem will go away and he doesn't follow up on it. Or maybe he looked into my issue with the uh, Village Center Metro District and he figured out he couldn't do anything. And he just decided that instead of writing me back and saying he couldn't do anything, he just figured that he would just ignore me for eternity and not do anything. Um, I don't know, but I followed up with the guy two different times uh, and he didn't, um, he didn't really do anything. Uh, once again, I don't know if he looked into it or not, but you know, the bottom line is you can't ignore your constituents like this. It's, it's completely ridiculous. I mean, what, what are we paying you for just to utterly ignore us? Just, just doesn't make sense. It's, it's, it's very irresponsible. And if he's just, um, hoping that I'll go away, um, that really says a lot about him. The guy doesn't do his job. So I don't care what side of the aisle he's on, okay? I'm pretty much a libertarian, so I don't, I don't consider myself um, a liberal Democrat or a conservative Republican. I'm kind of in the middle, like I'm liberal on some issues, I'm conservative on others. Um, but this is not a partisan issue. This is an issue with a guy who doesn't do his job. And so that's why I'm not voting for him. So just wanted to make this quick video and tell um, people what my experience with this guy was. And if you had a similar experience, or maybe you had a better experience and you want to leave that in the comments, that's fine too. But if somebody can explain to me why this guy just chooses to ignore me, even though I've tried to follow up with him two times. I mean, at the very least, he can just write me back and say, hey, I'm still looking into it or something. But this guy is just straight up ignoring me. He's been ignoring me for two and a half months now, probably because he doesn't want to deal with the problem. That's my guess. So do you really want to vote for a guy who who does this? Maybe you do. I don't know. But I don't.